All right, so here's example four. And again, we're going to still do the same thing of just making tables. So we're not graphing anything out. And that's what we're going to do for example five. We're going to graph things out from tables. But for right now, example four is just another practice of making tables and make sure we're good. All right, so let's go for this. Let's do this. And again, we know that there's um, three, um, <laughs> sorry, there's actually three uh, equations here. So it means you have to have three tables, three. So the last example, example three, we only had two, table, um, two tables because we had two equations. This time we have three tables because we have three equations. All right, so let's go ahead and write this down. We got have three different equations. It's going to be kind of shorter. So the tables are going to be shorter because the numbers are smaller. Uh, the amount of numbers are smaller, I should say. Mm, let's do purple for the last one. I'm going to have to extend that a little bit longer because there's more there. All right, so here, again, we're going to put the x here, the equation there. X here, the equation here. And then here we have X and we have our equation here. All right. So with that, again, we're taking a look at our inequalities back here. If you need to graph them out, you can. But if not, you can kind of see that X is between those two numbers. So I'm going to put down that X is between 0 and 2, so 0, 1, 2. For the second one, we say that x is between 2 and 4, so we have 2, 3, 4. And our last one is between 4 and 7. So that is 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now with this, as we're working on it and trying to figure out what's going on, we're going to go to Desmos again and we're going to do the um, tables in here. So let's go ahead and go there real quick. All right, so let's go to here. We're going to do our, two, we're going to do three, all three tables so you can, you can see what's happening. All right, again, get rid of the X's, get rid of the Y. And we're just going to put one X and we're going to do X minus four here. We go zero. One, two. And so we just put those values in of negative four, negative three, and negative two. Alright, we're gonna do another table. This one is probably the best to do the table for because this one you can't just do it in one um step, you have to do it in multiple steps. So we're gonna do that. So we have that equation, x cubed minus 3x plus 4. We're going to put 2, 3, 4. Okay, and it does, again, does it work for you? So you don't have to do all the work. You just have to make sure you set the table up and let the computer do the work for you. The calculator do the work for you on that. All right. Then our last one, and this one, hopefully everybody already knows what's going to happen here, but just to visualize, see what's happening. Because everybody should know that's a constant function, and you see, you already did it. With this one, it's this constant no matter where it is, no matter what you put in for x, the value is going to come back to be 5. No matter what, simply because it's a constant function. No matter where you are, it's still going to be the answer of 5. And again, remember, there's no x back here. And again, since there's no x, you can't substitute number in there. So therefore, you cannot get any number other than just 5. All right. So after that, we got our tables filled in. Now we have to, again, deal with our um, open and closed circles. So we have that part. Now with this, we're going to go ahead and let me see what color I'm going to use. Let's use this one. All right. So we know here it has an equal to sign there. 
So that means it's closed at zero. So zero is closed. It's just a less than sign, so that's open. So two is open. So we have the closed here, open here. All right for two, again, this is an equal to sign there, so it's closed. The circle is closed. And then here, this is just a less than sign, so that's open for four. So it's closed here, open here. And then the last part here, this is closed. Four, open for seven. Again, because the less than sign has no equal to, it's open. Equal to has closed. All right. And then remember again, anything that um, is other than an endpoint is automatically closed. So here, for everything else, we get closed. Every other point is closed. Oh, uh, every other point is closed. Uh huh. That's right. Get it closed. Close, 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 close. Uh huh. All right. So that's it. So we have one last example where we're going to actually go back through this one more time, making the table, and then we're going to go ahead and actually do the um do the uh, the graphing portion of it. All right. So let's get it. Let's go on the next video.